Well, obviously, there's been a lot of devastation when it comes to the Marshall Fire, but everyone in our community is at least stepping up to help, including children. Yeah, Jessica, this is very sweet. I took a trip to Louisville today. I met a nine year old girl named Libby who is getting ready to give away hundreds of stuffed animals to children who lost theirs in the fires. Let's take a look. We are here with the Latham family, led by its star, Libby, who is collecting all these, are we calling them stuffies? Yes. 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 Stuffies for victims of the Marshall Fire, because you don't really think about it, but like, if you lost yourself to animals, I would have been heartbroken when I was a kid, right? Yeah, so would I, because like, stuffies are basically my world. Yeah, they're your world, and now you've given many, many worlds that you're going to, let's ask Dad, so they're going to be donated tomorrow, they're going to be at the Marshall Fire Free Store, is that right? Yes, the Marshall Fire Free Store on McCaslin, 357 McCaslin, and from 10 to 2, we want kids to come out and that have been displaced, and please, we have plenty of stuffies here for them to, to get good homes. Take 13. So the, the, the craziest part about this is that you guys started collecting on Monday. How did this happen all of a sudden? It's only been five days, Mom. Yeah, so just local Facebook groups, friends and family, um, put, out, put out a post. Everybody loves Libby and they're excited and everybody has an emotional attachment to a stuffed animal. So that's what we've learned and they want to share that with people. So mm -hmm. very thankful. It's, it's so beautiful and it might look like mayhem, but Libby actually has a method to it. Libby, can you tell us about how you've categorized each section of the table? Yeah, so like some of them are just like in misordered, but like here is like safari animals. Safari, sure, sure. The top is all the dogs. We have so many dogs. Many dogs. Um, and then sea creatures are right here. Naturally, yeah. Little, uh, giant octopus <laughs> on the ground is my favorite one. Yes, Wait, and my favorite category is one to the left. What's that one called? Uh, the squishy ones, the really fat squishy ones. Fat and squishy ones. You got safari, sea creatures, and I would see squishy ones. The three yeah. big classifications. and some of the them, are, some of the like wild. Wait, hold on. Woodland creatures Whoa. are right there, and there's more right here and random, and in the back there's mythical animals. Libby, it's just, it's so Im impressive how you and your parents you just had this idea, brought it all together. Why did you want to do this for everybody? Because, like, um, losing a stuffy would be heartbreaking for me, and I just want everybody to, like, have their own stuffy to call their own. Basically, so yeah. Yeah, it's comforting. Right now, people have lost the things that comfort them, and that's yeah. why it's so beautiful. We did this, uh, guys. Thank you so much for what you're doing for our community. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. And I just want to thank everybody that donated, um, the stuffies, money, and thank you. You heard her. Thank you, everyone. She's the best. I told her she's going to be president one day. And if you are a part of one of the impacted families and you want to pick up a stuffy, as she calls it, the Marshall Fire Free Store is at 375 McAllislin Boulevard in Louisville, and that will run from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And that drive may be over today, but there are many other ways you can give guys, including through the Denver 7 Gives Wildfire Relief Fund. You can scan this QR code with your phone's camera to get a link to the donation page or go directly to the denverchannel.com slash gives.